structure and working of the human eye nature has located the eye close to the brain so that its messages may arrive there quickly the eyeball is completely surrounded by a layer of soft fatty tissue and placed within a bony orbit where eye is protected seeing from inside the protected position of the eyeball within its funnel shaped eye socket is shown still more clearly note that this is a white stalk called optic nerve which connects the eye to the brain and also these muscles which move the eyeball this is the empty eye socket within the skull with its bony wall inside and a bony orbit in front the capsule of the eyeball seems to have three layers this thick tough outer layer is called the sclera and serves to protect the delicate structure within this transparent bulging portion is called the cornea there is also a crystalline lens which is one of the main parts of the human eye the second layer is called the choroid it consists of three different zones the first zone is called choroid proper and it is the part that carries nourishment to the tissues of the eye the next zone is called the ciliary body this is the broad ring shaped band of thin muscle fibers which plays a very active and vital role in the vision adjustment of the eye the third zone is a well known iris which expands and contracts the pupil much like the diaphragm of the camera the innermost layer of the eyeball is the retina a very delicate membrane the retina is actually the part of the optic nerve which transmits the light impulses to our brain the retina is the most important and complex structure in the eyeball it consists of a complicated arrangement of rods and cones which convert light waves into nerve impulses between the lens and the cornea is the aqueous humor consisting mostly of water and a little salt This largest space within the eye is filled with vitreous humor consisting chiefly of water mixed with salt and albumin. It is a highly transparent jelly like substance and plays a very important role in visual adjustment. The reflected light of the world enters through the crystal transparency of the cornea, pupil aqueous humor lens and vitreous humor which is a clear gel like substance that fills the middle of the eye and then projects on to the photoreceptors of the retina which is a photosensitive tissue lying at the back of the eye the macula is a very small area at the center of the retina that gives us a fine pinpoint center of vision the area of retina surrounding the macula gives us a peripheral or side vision the retina converts the light rays into the signals that are sent to the optic nerve and then to the brain continual adjustment of the pupil and lens regulates the entry and focusing of light every blink helps our eyes natural defense system the tear film retains moisture and maintains visual acuity tear gland secretes the tear fluid which contains important natural disinfectants to keep bacteria away and it drains through the tear duct into the nose after flushing and cleaning the entire eye surface and thus 
the tear system washes away impurities to maintain eye health.